Hello everyone, Nick with Nicky Hawkins here, West Ham Fan TV. Um, we have no post-match pint this week because we are in the process of getting everything set up for our big launch next week. So I hope you tune in so we will be launching against Sunderland. Um, Ryan's gone to the game today. Um, hopefully you'll be sending me some stuff through that we can upload. Uh, it's, it's sort of a daily vlog, um, if you remember to do it. I haven't heard from him actually. But um, I just thought I'd post this little video as a, as a reaction. Um, Obviously, it's you know the Arsenal game. Um, it's it's Arsenal three, West Ham nil. It's it wasn't as bad as 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 the scoreline would suggest. Um, the first thing I'd say um, there was quite a few positives. I thought O'Brien had a decent game. I thought Jarvis getting some game time was good. Uh, I was surprised that he started with um, Morgan back, but uh, maybe Morgan's being punished for what he did at West Brom. Um, it was. It was a, a, an okay performance. I mean, obviously, we, we conceded um, uh, right on a stroke of half time, and you know, and that knocked us a little bit because, apart from that, it was a bit back to the wall. They had some good chances. Um, we didn't really have a lot of chances. Um, injuries um, forced their hand into the formation we played today, I thought. Um, and that's one of the things that I'm going to moan about later on. But. Uh, yeah, they, they they didn't really worry us. We we did put up a, a decent fight, um, uh, a world class finish from Giroud. I must say it was it was absolutely excellent. Um, and then second half, you know, I, I didn't think we pressed them well enough um, to actually worry them. Um, we did have a couple of breakaways. Sacco had a couple of breakaways on his own, but you know, up 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 there on his own, he looked isolated and. <laughs> You know, we didn't really threat, threaten. You know, I know Koscielny had a decent game. Um, the goalkeeper had a decent game. But I thought, you know, looking at uh, the ratings for, for the Arsenal players, I mean, Mertesack and Koscielny got um, the same rating. I thought Mert, I thought Koscielny was excellent. Um, but I thought Mertesack was diving in left, right, centre. Um, uh, I thought, you know, although one centre-back has a good game, if the other one is not having... Too much of a, a a good game, you, you know. Bring the subs on early and and, and press them, but you know we didn't do that. Um, as soon as the second went in, it was you know it was game set and match really. We wasn't never going to get back into it. It was only you know ten minutes from the end, and then the third went in and and that that killed our day really. But um, I'm not going to be too negative. You obviously going to the, the Emirates is a, is a tough place to go to, but I will bring up a couple of uh, points a bit short at the back. Um, I did tweet out this uh, a tweet just before, uh, just after the game, which said, you know, Zarate out on loan, Humry out on loan, Maiga out on loan. A squad is thin. It's shown we did no business in the window. Um, let players go. Yeah, never replace them. It's madness, you know. I did get a couple of responses. Um, you can follow us on Twitter at West Ham Fan TV. At Charlie Sanford one said, played okay, not enough pressure on Arsenal defence. Subs too late from Big Sam, it's just as expected. And another one from uh, at Mark Mickey Pritchard one. It says too cautious first half of good reason. Second half lack quality. Final ball. Koscielny played very well, which is, you know, is a fair um, assessment uh, assess, of, of of what we just saw. But, you know, the injuries, again, have cost us a chance to go there and really compete. You know, we, you know I know it was a freak injury to um, Valencia in the week, um, you know, drop a bloody fucking teacup on your foot and... You know, you're pretty much fucked. I remember one Dave Besson had one years ago, a bottle of sauce, but, you know, he looks like he's going to be out for a while now. Carroll, obviously, out for the rest of the season. Tompkins has, has, has had an injury in the, in the week, out for the rest of the season, looks like. Reed is still suffering from last week. You know, we've got a, a centre-half out on loan at Blackburn, you know, only a youngster. Doing very, very well by all accounts. Um, from what I've seen, he's had two man in a match of performances. Um, and then, obviously, we've got Zarate out on loan. Now, with a squad as thin as ours, you know, we're not Chelsea, you know, we're not Arsenal, we're not, we're not United. We haven't got the players to just be, you know, banding them out when we haven't got replacements ourselves. Um, you know, we, we let all these people, you know, people like Vaz Tay, let him go in the window. You know, we nearly let Colton go. It was, it was lucky that we, you know, he's got an injury as well. But it was lucky we called him back, really, because 
you know, if we'd have let him go, it would have been really thin, really thin up front. Um, the the centre half thing, I, I I can't really get because, you know, I know we've got a couple of youngsters, and maybe he doesn't want to chuck them in at the deep end, which is understandable. But you know, letting a a, a kid go out and loan. Um, after all the problems we had last year, you know, we ended up with no centre halves last year. Uh, we couldn't even sign Roger Johnson for God's sake this year. You know, he went and find himself a new club, uh, the old West Ham legend. But yeah, it's it, you know, you let these players go, and then we find ourselves at this stage of the season. And, you know, we've been quite lucky with injuries this year compared to last. But even still, you know, you, you got to approach these things with with thought that this is going to happen you know you can't you know assumptions the mother of all fuck ups as they say you know you can't assume that no one's going to get injured Carroll ain't got a great injury record um you know and, and, and you're relying on everyone else just to stay fit you know so you know art you know it's, it's inexcusable really when when you know when you've had the same problems last year, especially centre half. You know, you, we can't afford to be letting these players go without replacing them. You know, the the, the wind. I think the window has has really killed us, uh, our form, in in you know this this year because no business at all, and we've let players go. You know, loans and and you know permanent transfers. Um, you know, has, has left us too thin, and you know it's it's hard to compete with the squad that we've got. We've got a good starting team. You know, I don't think people like Jarvis, who, who I thought came in and had a good game today, I don't think he's played enough. You know, I said against Crystal Palace, he's, he's he was blaming tiredness for you know a, a bad result. It's his fault that Jarvis hasn't had any game time this year. It's his fault that O'Brien hasn't had any game time this year. It's his fault that you know people like Morgan and Malfitano hasn't had enough game time this year. You know they could come in and, and do the job. You know as, as Jarvis showed today. I, thought, I think Jarvis gets a little bit too too much stick from West Ham fans really because you know he hasn't really been given a chance. He had a, before he's in, he got injured in pre season. Before his injury, he looked decent. You know him and Downing looked decent. So. You know, I hope, you know, he needs to rotate it up a bit more. You know, the only reason he, he, he changed his formation today was because he, he was forced to. There was no, you know, master stroke behind his tactics. Um, but, yeah, but, you know, not being too too negative. I don't want to be too negative and bring it down. We've got a massive game next week against Sunderland. We've got to, we've got to beat them. They're in, you know, free fall. But, they just got hammered at home to Villa. Um, I wouldn't expect Poyet to be there tomorrow. Um, it looks like you know that they've got to do something now. They've got to change something, you know. And knowing how lucky he'll go in the morning, and they'll have a new manager in, you know, someone like Peter Reid or something. So, you know, someone come back, and then they'll have the new. Um, the new manager syndrome, you know, when they start going on a decent little run. Uh, that'd just be our luck, really. But you know, we've got to make sure we get three points next week. Um, yeah, so it it was bad, um, not as bad as as it looks. The score, the scoreline suggests, but you know, it's just frustration. You know, more than anything because of of the good start. And you know, I'm not looking at, at it too negatively because you know we've been a bit spoiled at the beginning of the season we, we punched above our weight but you know things like this are frustrating you know when we're playing well we played well against Chelsea we played well against United we've done okay today nothing spectacular but you know we're not picking up the results that we should be so um, do follow us on Twitter at West Ham Fan TV um, we've got a Facebook page now the West Ham Fan TV fan page we've got a website coming up westhamfan.tv www. Um, that should be come, going live very soon. We've got a, a set being built for post match pint. Um, we've got decorations going up. We're, we're working very hard towards getting that launch next week. We've got all our equipment now. Um, we would like a better camera, but we'll have to see what happens. Um, we've got a sponsor, uh, All Seasons Lettings. Uh, you can visit them on www.allseasonslettings.co.uk. Um, yeah, so everything's in place for our show anyway. Hopefully we can get a win and next week and, and our launch will be uh, a, a happy one. So anyway, thanks for watching, everyone. Come on, you irons.